come over here because people have shouted out smart lead or it's been recommended. That's probably because of the engine behind that in the settings section. It is the brains behind what causes smart lead to have consistently superior deliverability in the entire market. So let's go through every section over here and understand how it elevates your email campaign performance. Now, the first one over here is campaign name. You want to go to name it, whatever you want. Let's just say test campaign over here. And then the second thing is you want to have a trigger on when you want to stop sending follow-up messages if you have a multi-sequence campaign on when you want to not get the second, third, fourth step sent or maybe fifth, sixth step sent. 99% of the time, people will choose replies. Now, you can go ahead and do clicks and opens as well if you're not optimizing for replies, but you probably want to go ahead and ensure you get a reply. And when a reply is received, you want that to stop. So that's one segment. Second is... If you don't want to actually track opens and clicks for optimization and deliverability, this is an option. However, if I were to do this, I would not recommend you to worry about that. Instead, I would actually just choose this option over here. What optimized email deliverability does is it actually ensures that we send plain text emails. The ethos over here is emails are meant to be sent as communicative forms as usually text-based forms to ensure that you are actually sending someone valuable information via text and you're receiving valuable information via text. So sending non-HTML emails, because guess what? HTML emails are usually newsletters, subscription letters, and all the promotional content people send out. And ESPs are very smart at picking that up. And ESP is basically an email service provider. So optimizing email deliverability is an option, just a one-click option that we have. And all that does is it automatically ensures your email deliverability is boosted up by removing any HTML and sends it as a plain text email, result leading to an increase in deliverability. But do note, when you select this option, your open and click tracking will not be visible because we have removed all form of tracking and we've sent it as an plain email for you. Now, if you do have a link over there, uh, there are some ESPs like Gmail that will actually go ahead and render a link to actually be a link, but it has to be the naked link that you want to put in there and it will work fine. But that's just a function of Gmail, but not a function of us removing the actual HTML. Now, the second thing is we've got a prioritize sending pattern option over here. This is very powerful to help you go ahead and optimize your sending campaign ratio. If you, if you read this over here very quickly, you'll get a quick understanding of what this means. So take a moment to pause and read what this is saying. But the advantage you get with prioritizing your sending pattern is letting you decide whether you want to send follow-ups or if you want to send new leads messages. Sometimes this is an important metric you want to work with because let's just say your first message is actually giving you a lot more traffic than maybe your follow-ups as an example. In which case you probably want to go ahead and prioritize just for new leads. Some situations you might see that you're getting a good traction of conversions in the second, third, and fourth email. Now the advantage you get with Smart Lead is you can actually attribute a positive reply to the actual step at which the response came from. And you can see this in the analytics video in the analytics section where it's broken down explaining each of these metrics. So in that situation, what I would do is I would say, all right, since I'm getting good number of responses in the third email or the third follow-up, I will probably want to go ahead and optimize for follow-ups to be sent over new leads. But I don't want to just send follow-ups. I want to send follow-ups and new leads as well. So you can adjust this ratio. And that is the true power over here to help optimize your deliverability to get the maximum amount of revenue and outcome in the shortest amount of time. The third thing over here is this will help you go ahead and auto pause any messages sent on the company, lo uh, company level if you're reaching out to multiple stakeholders within the same company. Let's say you're reaching out to the CEO, CTO, CFO, and CEO of Pepsi.com. You do not want to go ahead and continue sending messages to all four of them if one of them has replied, or in this case, all three of them if one of them has replied. A simple, simple fix for you is just to simply go ahead and click that. And what that will do is it will stop messaging other people within a company once at least one person replies from that company using the domain. All right. Now comes one of our more popular features that has been heavily adopted in the market. What we've noticed and seen is at scale, if you go ahead and send messages from maybe an Outlook to an Outlook or Gmail to Gmail, there is a natural increase in deliverability and overall performance of your campaigns. It's something about Outlook's loving messages from Outlook and Gmail loving messages from Gmail. So the way our system works is we will actually run an MX record check on the backend to confirm if what your individual lead list, individual leads in this case, this lead, this lead, this lead, what is their actual ESP? Is it a Gmail, Outlook, Zoho, private email, whatever it may be. And if you in your portfolio if, of email accounts actually have a relevant ESP that also matches the same as your leads. So then it will dynamically match your Outlook to your lead that has an Outlook account, your Gmail to a lead that has a Gmail account. Now, do you do not need to worry because you might say, all right, what if I don't have, I only have Gmail accounts and my leads might be from Outlook, Gmail, so it doesn't matter. The whole point of this feature is 
If you have something that matches your leads, then it will match the two. If it doesn't, it will send it in the normalized intelligent pattern that it always does. But a nice quick win for you to have, a, if you have a diversified list of mailboxes, to get massive wins from this one quick feature. Now, one of the more popular options we have over here, which helps you automate an entire slew of your company, almost ensuring that you've got efficient activity of your business, is the intelligent AI categorization feature. What this does is it allows you to go ahead and select a bunch of categories that you want to automatically categorize. So in this case, I'm going to select one, two, three, and maybe even out of office, because I'll explain out of office to you very quickly. And what this is doing... One, two... What this is doing is it's saying whenever a reply is received in the master inbox, you can check out the video of the master inbox, it will automatically categorize any reply that is off interested, not interested, do not contact, and out of office. If you connect your GPT-4 key, which is in your settings section, you can actually even go ahead and extend this to other categories that you have created that are custom to you, which will really open up the power of automation because sometimes you might not just have these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight default categories you've got, but you might create your own custom categories. And if you want to add those own custom categories and use them as a categorization system, you can add in your GPT-4 key, follow the guides for that, and then you'll have access to those over here and you can really expand your entire automation experience. Sweet. So I've gone ahead and select these options, but you'll see these two categories show up over here. The importance of these categories are very crucial. One thing is to ensure the cleanliness or the hygiene of your reply retracking. You may not want to select the out of office replies as an actual reply because that is a false skewed message. So by clicking on this, any message that Smartlead automatically picks up through its AI that is an out of office message, it will ignore from the reply tracking. So therefore, it ensures that you're only getting the cleanest amount of responses that you can action and work towards. The second thing is you don't want to maybe miss out on these out of office messages and you want to capture it in an automatic way. By clicking on this button, and maybe let's just go with an average datum of 10, what Smartly will do is if it receives an out of office message, it will automatically follow up with that lead in 10 days so that you do not miss this lead because these out of office messages are crucial gold that you actually want to go ahead and target. Now, let's just say the lead goes ahead and replies back to you in that time gap. That is also taken care of ensuring that you're not double sending. So this little element over here, you might say, all right, 10 is generic. Maybe some people will come back on 14. How do we know when they're coming back? So that's why you can go with a rough estimated amount, right? Just go with 10 because the assumption is most people are not away for more than 10 days. If you want to control this on an exact line by line level for each lead, you can actually handle that in the master inbox. There's a video explaining exactly how to go ahead and do custom lead by lead level delays and custom delays to ensure you've got the maximum bang for your buck with respect to reactivation and automation itself. So hopefully this makes sense over here. And the last piece is if you want to go ahead and add an unsubscribe message, you can only do this, like I said, when you have this option turned off, because when we have optimized email deliverability turned on, it removes all HTML. So I'm just going to remove this over here and I'm going to come and turn this on. And maybe I want to just say, please uh, unsubscribe. Now, this unsubscribe message is put at the very bottom of your message. And if you look at the campaign setup section in the videos, you will see how you can dynamically inject this unsubscribe in the middle of anywhere within your copy to make it feel a bit more natural and, again, improve that deliverability and make it look like you are sending a naturalized message to your customer that is not looking automated. All right, so I hope this all makes sense to you. Another thing to just very quickly walk you through over here is the email accounts, which will show you a list of email accounts that you can select from, which will then give you the optionality to go ahead and work through, you know, in one click, boom, you've gone ahead and selected hundreds of email accounts to then send out messages, which will scale your ad bound in a very, very natural, fast, as well as high deliverability way. The other thing is we've got webhooks over here, which will let you automate any segments of the product you want to automate. Maybe you want to push it to a Slack. You want to push it to a notification system. You want to push it to your own CRM. That's it. And also, you can also automate this with HubSpot if you've got your HubSpot account connected to the platform. Now, the other advantage you got over here is some mailboxes may not be performing too well, maybe because they're listed on a blacklist, maybe 
the reputation is not doing too well or they're on an ESP that's not performing too well. In this case, this ESP is from Zoho and we know Zoho is not doing too well right now with AdBand. So you can actually be very selective of the mailboxes you use and only use a high reputation mailboxes to ensure you've got the best deliverability. Now, what does this reputation mean? We've actually created a video explaining what warm-up reputation means. Check that video out to give you a good understanding of what the warm-up reputation is representing. So this way, I know for a fact that I maybe don't want to use this mailbox simply because of the fact that its reputation is not there up yet and the smart lead warm-up engine is working tirelessly to bring it back up and once it's ready i will add that back in there great i hope you enjoyed this video and check out the rest of the onboarding videos we've got to make sure you get the maximum bang for your buck with smart lead and ensure you're delivering your leads the best emails possible and converting them to paying customers have a good day and chat soon